time is your friend arriving, Grandpa? At five o'clock, JC. And what's the time right now? It is five minutes to five, JC. His train should be here in five minutes. Okay, Grandpa. Seventeen? Huh? What kind of a time is seventeen? I know. This clock must be faulty. Hey, Grandpa. Are the clocks at the station not working? No, JC. They are fine. But it looks like my watch has stopped working. Oh no. Here is an idea. There's a clock store right outside the station. Why don't you take my watch over there and get it fixed? While I wait for my friend to arrive. Okay, Grandpa. Seventeen again? How can all the clocks at the station be faulty? Maybe someone at the clock store will be able to help me. Hey, look at that grandfather clock. Let me ask about the clocks at the station. I am sure he will be able to tell me. Mm -hmm. And who is it that wakes me up? Hi, sorry to wake you. I am JC. Hmm, JC. I am William. You still haven't told me why you woke me. S -s so sorry, b b but I really want to ask you something. Ask me something? And what might that be? I must warn you. I don't know much about the world outside. I wanted to ask you about time. About time, did you say? Hmm, then you have come to the right person. Tell me, what's bothering you? When I stepped out of our train at 5 o'clock, the clocks in the railway station were showing the time as 17. How can the clocks in the station be wrong? Ah, I can see how you would be confused by this. Those clocks are not wrong, JC. They just follow a different system of time than what I do. What system of time do you follow? I follow the 12-hour system of time. Do you want to know more about it? Yes, please. Well, how many hours does one day have? 24. Good. Now a 24 hour day is divided into two parts of 12 hours each. Okay. So this is the reason all clocks have 12 divisions on them? But then, how do you differentiate between, say, 5 o'clock in the morning? And five o'clock in the evening? Good question. When people tell you the time, you must have heard them referring to it as AM or PM. Is that true? Yes, but I don't understand what it means. From 12 o'clock midnight till 12 noon on the following day, time is written as AM. AM stands for anti-meridian. Here's a quick question. At what time do you wake up in the morning? 7 uh, um, AM. Good. But William, what about time after 12 noon? Yes, I was getting to that. After 12 noon, time is written as PM. PM stands for Post Meridian. AM and PM. Cool. So, does that mean you understood 
the 12 hour system of time now yes i do our school starts at 9 in the morning or 9 am my train reached the station today at 5 in the evening or 5 pm exactly you know the 12 hour system of time now but that still doesn't answer my question william why were the clocks at the station showing time as 17 when it was actually 5 pm yes that's because the clocks at the station follow the 24 hour system of time the 24 hour system can you tell me about that too hmm i could but there's someone better here who will be able to help you out why don't you ask this guy oh will he help me well we don't agree on most things especially about how to tell time but i'm sure he will help you go on now wake him up i uh i was no need to ask me i heard everything you wish to learn about the 24 hour clock system and about the clocks in the station all good friends of mine by the way were showing the time as 17 right right all right then let's learn about the 24 hour system of time the 24 hour system of time is written as the number of hours that have passed since midnight in the 24 hour system the day is not divided into two parts of 12 hours each but is a continuous period of 24 hours in the 24 hour system of time the time is written in four digits the first two digits on the left are for the hours and the next two digits are for the minutes but isn't that what we do for the 12 hour system of time as well no jc in the 24 hour system the hours and minutes are not separated by a dot so what you read as 17 was actually 1700 hours okay but what does that mean okay listen in the 24 hour system time starts at 12 o'clock midnight this is known as zero hour then the first hour after that is counted as 100 hours the count of the hours continues like this so you mean 2 a.m will be written as 200 hours exactly and what will you write 4 a.m as 400 hours correct but suppose it is 4 30 a.m how could we write that in the 24 hour time format we will write it as 430 hours hmm. now jc 10.45 in the morning will be written as 10.45 hours Exactly! So now you know how to read time till 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Am I right? Yes, but what happens after 12 o'clock in the afternoon? 12 in the afternoon or 12 p.m. is 1200 hours. After that, 1 p.m. becomes 1300 hours. Cool! 2 p.m. is 1400 hours. And so on till 11 p.m., which is read as 2300 hours. But it's a little confusing, isn't it? No, JC. Here's how you can avoid confusion while reading 24 hour time. If the first two digits to the left are less than 12, 
the time shows the morning hours that is before 12 o'clock noon or am and if the digits are more than 12 that means the time is after 12 noon or pm this is great so 11:30 pm will be written as 2330 hours right again oh so that's why when we reached the railway station 5 pm was written as 1700 hours exactly now you see how convenient the 24 hour time format is there is no confusion because of am or pm each hour of the day is denoted by a different number you are right that is why in places where we want the time to be specified without error we use the 24 hour time format like airports and railway stations yes this stops you from making mistakes like waiting for the train at 5 in the morning when your train is actually at 5 in the evening <laughs> where else do we use the 24 hour time format digi the 24 hour time format is used in hospitals by scientists by tv stations and even by the military wow so it's important for you to know about converting the 12 hour time format to the 24 hour time format cool can you show me how to do that i think you might need my help for that ah grandfather william has decided to help us great this will make things much easier so tell me jc what time is it in the 24 hour format when it is 8:15 pm according to me uh 13 14 fifteen wait wait don't start counting there's an easy way to convert 12 hour time to 24 hour time what is it all you need to do is to add 12 to the hours and keep the minutes same this will give you the time in the 24 hour format so what will 8:15 pm be in the 24 hour system of time 8 plus 12 is 20 15 minute remains the same so 2015 hours right very good now one more what about 4 pm 4 plus 12 is 16 so 4 pm will be written as 1600 hours excellent i think you've got it but what about converting time from 24 hour format to 12 hour format oh that's easy too all you need to do then is subtract 12 from the hours and keep the minutes same let's try an example If I was showing the time as 1900 hours, what would be the time Grandpa William will show in the 12-hour format? Uh, 19 minus 12 is 7, so 7 p.m. Perfect. And what about if the time has 1436 hours? I will subtract 12 from 14. Which gives me two, so the time according to 12-hour format will be 2:36 p.m. That's great. So, JC, I hope you're not confused about 12 and 24-hour time anymore. No, I'm not. All thanks to you guys. JC, JC, are you there? Time to go, JC. Hey grandpa, let's go. Hmm. This seems to be exactly the kind of place you would like. Not been getting up to any mischief, have you? No grandpa, no mischief. Shall we go? Hey. 
here's what I learnt about time today. In the 12 hour system of time, each day is divided into two parts of 12 hours each. The time from 12 midnight till 12 noon is written as AM or Anti Meridian. The time from 12 noon till 12 midnight is written as PM or Post Meridian. Now let's talk about the 24 hour system for time. The 24 hour system of time is written as the number of hours that have passed since midnight. We start counting from 12 midnight which is also known as zero hour.